Hello, I'm Atubo Jona. Today is Friday. Praise God. Let, let, let's see how we can just, you know, I don't know if we can round this up today. If we don't, we'll continue next week. But listen, listen. Oh. I wish you would get yourself to that place where you truly realize and be fully persuaded that God has given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. See, that's what you should seek after. I said something, I was saying something yesterday. You know, many people say, oh, I, I need to get a job. Or I don't have a job because I'm not qualified. God has given you a job already and you are not doing it. So what job did God give to me? Didn't he say you should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness? Don't you know that is a job? He is telling you to go study. Go seek. How do you seek? If you don't seek, you won't find. See? Peter tells us, let's go back to 2 Peter, where, where, where we started this whole thing from. Peter says, According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge. Did you see that? Through the knowledge. So there's a knowledge to seek after. You, you don't just sit down there and knowledge comes to you. You, you seek your heart. You've got to be hungry for knowledge. You've got to be hungry to... Now, listen. The first knowledge you need to get is the knowledge of the Father. Oh, oh, oh. If you don't have that knowledge... Now, I'm not talking about getting religious and... and and going to Bible school for them to teach you who God is. No man can teach you who God is. <laughs> Jesus actually said, no man has ever seen him. No man has seen him. So if they've not seen him, how can they teach you? He is only revealed to you by Jesus Christ. See? So, so your first advantage. And I said, well, what, what about those people that have made success in life without knowing who God is? See? Anyone who's made a mark or success in life without God. You know, I always tell people this. You don't judge a man. You don't judge a man's success by what he is today. You judge a man's success. You, 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 you want to know the true time to judge a man's success? is in the third generation. If a man is successful, if a man is truly successful, you will find his success in the third generation. In other words, he, he will do well. His children will do well in the same line of what he was doing, either in belief, faith, line of business, or whatever. So if you want to know successful businesses that have really made a mark, check the third generation. If you don't find it in the third generation, then you know that it wasn't a success. It wasn't approved by God. I'm telling you the truth. See? So remember, you know, that's why you find God promising in, in, in scriptures, he says, his children's children. See? Why is he saying that? Why is he saying that? Remember, he says, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Did you see that? He didn't just say a good man leaves an inheritance for his children. He is not saying a good man leaves houses, land. That's not what he's talking about. <clears throat> He is talking about, just like Abraham, Abraham didn't leave houses and land and things like that. If that was all he left, then Isaac lost everything. Remember, there was famine in the land at some point. And Isaac was about to leave town. Then what about Jacob? Jacob left home with just a staff. That's all he left home with. So where's the inheritance he got from Abraham? But he was rich, wasn't he? He was. See? So he wasn't talking about houses and land. He was, the, if you read that scripture from the Amplified Bible, it says, a good man leaves an inheritance of moral stability and goodness to his children's children. What does it mean, moral stability and goodness? A good man leaves a pattern that works for his children's children. So if you're a good man and you are approved by the Lord, there is this thing you'll notice in your life. There's a pattern that you have set it, it might be, one of those patterns might be a business pattern. But you see, you realize that that thing you've gotten involved with is not something that's just going to last for a short while. It's not, some, not a 10 years blessing or it's not a 10 years prosperity. It's something that your children will come, sit on it and ride on it to the next level. And then 
um, the, your grandchildren will come and ride on it to the next level. When, when your grandchildren are walking in the same thing, then you know that man was blessed. This is, this is some home truth I'm telling you. Praise God. So if, if, if your parents didn't leave you such an inheritance, you begin to do something about it. And if Jesus starries, you want to, for example, look at Abraham. Till this day, there is a people in a land. There is a land marked out on the earth that belongs to Abraham. So we don't just read about Abraham in the Bible. We can trace his generation on earth with people. Now that was a blessed man. So when God says, I have made him a father of many nations, he, he knew what he was talking about. Until this day, there is a physical evidence that Abraham was a blessed man. Praise God. See? Now, he, he's not talking about his children's children. Now, he's talking about generations. Gen and let me tell you this truth. Once something has been secured in the third generation, it's secured for life. See? Oh, yeah. It, it, it's secured for life. Now, the enemy... Oh, this is a secret that, that I'm sharing with you. The, and that's why the enemy attacks children. See? A righteous man must watch over his children jealously because the enemy is going to attack them. What's the enemy attacking? You! He's attacking... Because if he can attack your children, then your work will be stopped. That's why we cannot say Samuel was a blessed man. Prophet Samuel now. See? That's why we cannot say Eli was a blessed man. You understand what I'm saying? They did great things for God, but their children couldn't take it on so they didn't get to the third generation you 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 need to put your head down and listen to the lord and let the lord help you there are secrets in life that a lot of people don't know and they live their lives carelessly and then they realize at the old age and there's no amends to be done but i pray for you that the spirit of god will guide you and help you accomplish everything that he has planned for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to continue this next week because, of course, there's still a lot that the Spirit of God has commanded me to share with you on this. But until next week, have a blessed weekend. God bless you. Bye-bye.